It's finally cold outside, and that's why I'm making a hearty barley soup tonight. You could also call it the stew, depending how thick you make it. Let's get started. <laughs> Ingredients. We'll need pearl barley, a liquid, vegetables. I use uh, celery, carrot, and onion. A little overboard on the onion here. Leek is really good too, but I didn't have any. And uh, spices, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. The nutmeg's really good in it, so you want to use that. I also add some beans at the end when it's cooked. And we'll add sausage. Now, if you use vegetable broth with this and leave the meat out, you have a full vegan meal that still has the proteins from the grains and from the beans. So you can do it either way you want. We're using the smoked sausage. Gives it a good taste. You could also use uh, ham hocks or smoked pork belly. Any, any meat's really good in it. You'll need some type of fat to grease because next we'll caramelize the onions. In my case, I had two tiny little pieces of fatty bacon left, so I just render that out. So to slowly caramelize them because once they are caramelized, they add a wonderful flavor to the end product. Okay, they just sweated for a couple minutes. They are not the way yet I want them, but in my case, because I use sausage, I'll add that now so this can render out a little bit too. And if you do make the vegan vegetarian version, you can substitute um, any meat product with mushrooms and they would go in at this point too to sweat out some water. Due to te technical difficulties, you missed out on the dramatic moment where I added the rinsed washed barley to it and the vegetables and the broth. Now I'm adding the spices, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. I always undersalt, undersalt first because it depends how salty the broth is, how salty the sausage is. And now we are actually ready to walk off the stove. So the ratio for um, the barley is one part pearled barley to three parts liquid. But this is for cooking the barley, so if you want it soupier, you may need more. Just after a while, 20-30 minutes, check in and see how much it has soaked up and just add some more liquid. You can add water at that point. Um, but I'll put this on a low simmer now. And then we'll check in in 10-15 minutes. So this is 15 minutes into it on a really slow boil. There isn't a whole lot going on yet, but you can see the barley is swelling up a little bit. Ordinarily, I would put this in the slow cooker, but today I appreciate the warmth coming from the stove. Um, let's put the lid back on and wait it out for another 20 minutes or so, and then we'll check it out. 30 minute mark. Now they're getting nice and big. And uh, I can now also tell that I will need more liquid this because it soaks up so much. How long does it take total um, on a nice slow simmer between 35 and 45 minutes maybe. But really a lot of it depends on the size of your barley, how old your barley is and the temperature. <laughs> so I tried this. You can try the little kernels. This still has a tough bite inside, so I'll give this at least another 10 more minutes. Here we go. Barley, soup, stew, whatever you like to call it, is served. Yum. So hearty, and this whole pot costs me less than $5, and we'll all be eating up from it. It's a lot of food for 5 bucks for our main meal. Thanks for watching.